Hello and welcome to the first in a series of videos about how to navigate and get the best from the new coaching manual platform for 2017. Um, this series of videos is designed to help our users to get the most out of the platform and also get the most out of the great content that we've got within the platform. Um, so for people who've been using us for a while, um, you'll obviously have noticed a lot of changes over the past uh, few months as we've sought to improve the user experience um, when using the, the coaching manual. So today I'm going to talk about just some of the basic navigation of the, of the new platform and kind of provide a guide around how some of that works and how some of it can, can be used by our customers, um, either whether you're a paying customer or a, a freemium user. There's lots of things that you can do in the coaching manual and um, we're going to share some of those today. So I'm logged in as a club user. Um, which is our highest level of membership and this is obviously the membership that allows users to add and remove coaches and, and players. Um, but when anyone lands on the coaching manual they land on the same page which is the dashboard or the locker. So I'm going to start by going through some of the items in the top navigation here um, to explain what they do. So the first icon to, to look at is the search function. If you click on search it brings up the search bar, which already has a number of pre-built um, filters so that you can find the content that you're interested in quickly, um, if that's what you want to do. Or we do have a fully functioning search function too. So if you want to search anything content-wise, you just start typing it in and the, the search bar will make suggestions for you. And it will filter by the content um, categories, so whether it's drills or guides, or even indeed if it's uh, an individual, then again the system will filter. So it will be users, guides, um, or whatever. So I'm not going to use search, I'm going to click the X to remove the search function. Um, and let's have a look at a couple of these other things on here. So locker is... Um, obviously the dashboard that we, we spoke about. So this is this is where we can store and curate our own content um, as well as find some of the great features that we've got built in the dashboard menu on the left hand side here. We'll go into that in a bit more detail shortly. Um, the next thing to look at on the top navigation is training ground. So training ground is the area which was once classroom and training ground. We we took the feedback from users who said that actually um, they kind of didn't understand the rationale behind it and we kind of agreed with you so we decided to put all of the content into the training ground and then underneath the training ground are a number of category filters for different types of content. We've also built a really nice um, interface here so that people can browse content really quickly and find the things that are important to them. So whether it's videos, whether it's sessions, um, whether it's drills, whether it's guides, there's an area here where people can quickly and easily get a bit of an understanding of, of the type of content that we have in the coaching manual. We do have a number of category filters and we'll probably grow these as we, as we develop the content, but it could be strength and conditioning, it could be the podcasts, and it could be news or it could be the sessions. So all of these filters will deliver different responses and will deliver different types of content. So just to explain, the drills are all of the individual coaching drills that we've built. Sessions is where we've put those drills into two, three, four part sessions, um, which coaches can use to deliver their, their, their coaching material when they're, when they're coaching each week. Okay. Then I'll go back to the locker and then also in the, um, the top navigation here we have this icon which pops out um, an activity feed so that all of the people that I follow socially or who follow me I get to see what they're looking at. I also have an ability to create notes here so I can write whatever I like um, and just quickly and easily make a note of something that um, that I need to remember for my for my, for my next session, create that note and then that, that exists within my notes function so when I navigate into my notes I can see the stuff that I've been writing. So it acts kind of like a diary entry um, over time to keep me keep 
uh, the information that I've been thinking about whilst I've been browsing the site um, relevant to that. I can stick content, I can stick um, sessions and things like that in my notes as well. Then we have another pop-out which is how to log out from the site or how to find help or how to edit certain elements of the account. We can edit the account from the edit button here, takes us into the editing my public profile, but I'm going to go into how we can do that from, um, from the profile itself. So I go into edit profile here and it pops out with the edit button again. I'm going to shut that down. The other things to look out for in the navigation here are clubs and teams. So this is all the clubs and teams that I'm a part of. So it'll tell me my clubs at the top and all of the teams that I'm associated with beneath that. Then we have all of the content which I've favorited. So I can quickly look at all of the content that, um, that I've favorited in there. Then I can have a look at the sessions that I've built in here. Um, the latest content, so as things get released by us, it will populate in here. Information that we want to share with you about things that we're working on will appear under your latest news feed. The idea is that this will integrate with the activity feed eventually. Um, again, on the left nav, we also have clubs and teams, so I can look at that. Favorites, sessions, folders. So this is where I've created folders for content and shared. And then we also have the social element of what we do, which is followers, the people who are following me and the people then who I'm following. So we've got a fully functional social platform now building into the coaching manual to help people um, stay in touch really with the, with the coaches that they're interested in staying in touch with um, and the players as well, of course. So that's a quick overview of the main navigation of the site um, when you log in for the first time.